Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about wheelchair tennis and just how life-changing it has been for me. But before I get into all the details about that, I just wanted to talk a little bit about why something like wheelchair tennis could be so life-changing. And I think, you know, if you have MS, you most definitely can probably relate or resonate with me when I say one of the hardest parts of dealing with the illness is dealing with the loss of things that we were once able to do. When we grieve the loss of ourselves, we're still here. We still clearly remember the years before we had MS, and we clearly remember the things that we were once able to do during those years. Um, even after diagnosis, I'm sure there was times that we were still able to do certain things, and then we slowly saw ourselves slipping and, and slowly lost the ability to do them. And for me, that one thing that was really, really crucial in my life and that I lost was the ability to play sports and specifically um, tennis. Um, I've met my husband on the court. We literally fell in love on the court. And I guess it's a little bit ironic that I'm talking about this today since it's Valentine's Day and it wasn't planned at all, but that's our story. Um, you know, my husband, my husband has been so supportive of me in tennis in general and it is no different now that I'm playing wheelchair tennis. My dad was actually the one that introduced us and so him and my mom have always been really involved in tennis um, for a number of years and we've met so many amazing friends through it. So when I lost the ability slowly but surely to play tennis, it was absolutely devastating for me. And for so many years, I was just sitting on the sidelines and it was so depressing every summer when I knew that I wouldn't be able to play. And I said to myself, you know, if I can't play in five years, which was 2017, if I could not play by then, I was going to play in a wheelchair. And to be honest, I'm not really sure how many people believe me when I said that because there are definitely obstacles to overcome just to start playing the sport. But anybody that knew me really well would definitely believe me when in the sense that they knew when I set my mind to something and when I really wanted when I really want something I do everything I can to achieve it and it wasn't easy I was lucky enough to have my friends and family rally around me to uh, for me to finance and um, get fundraising to, to purchase my chair and but, but that wasn't you know that wasn't stopping me from getting started I ended up playing in a wheelchair that one of my close friends was able to get for me to borrow and it didn't fit me at all, but I did not care one single bit. The first time that I got back on the courts and that I could actually move freely and I could actually feel like I was playing, I have no words to describe it other than empowering and surreal. Empowering because I'm able to, to do something that I once thought for a long time I would never be able to do again and something that was such a big part of my life. And surreal because you just you picture yourself hopefully one day being able to do that, but you never actually know if it's gonna happen. Um, and then the time when I, the first time I, I actually got good enough to be able to play doubles, and, and obviously the people that were playing against me were taking it easy, but you know I was playing with people that I hadn't been able to play with in five or six years, and people that were really close friends, people that I had only been able to watch for a long, long time. And so that was a really emotional moment. And so to say that wheelchair tennis has changed my life, to be honest, is an understatement. It has changed my life in a transformational way that I don't even think a lot of words would be able to do it justice. Um, not only has it changed my life in the fact that I'm now able to do the one thing that was so crucial to me, but it's changed my life in the sense that it has taught me how to be independent again. Um, the, the sport is highly competitive. There's 160 international events year round, and those are the events that I compete in due to lack of local tournaments. Um, I've played in, the first one was Toronto, then Montreal, then my first nationals in Calgary, and I just finished my last one in Tucson. And all of them have been inspirational and in great experiences in their own way. Um, not like, I mean, obviously it's difficult being on the court with some of the, the best players in the world, but you know you're not going to win. You go for the experience and you go to get an idea of how far you have to go to, to, you know, to become one of the better players. But it's also such an amazing opportunity to talk to these people and hear about all of their inspirational stories. And the one common thread, whether you're one of the best players or one, whether you're one of the players that are just starting out, 
we have one thing in common and that's that is that we've all pushed through and we were determined enough to get back the part of our life that was so important to us to apply our our, ener our competitive spirit again in a sport to have the perseverance to make it all happen and to be brave enough to go out and do something that we knew would be extremely challenging um, the sport in itself is challenging tennis just you know without a wheelchair is challenging then you throw in a wheelchair and you have to you hold the wheelchair and and your racket in one hand while you're wheeling with the other and you're trying to get there at the right time not too early not too late at the right angle and so there's all of these things that have to happen in order for you to become decent at the sport um, but all of those things happen at different levels and at different times for everybody but we've all started at the same spot and that's having the you know the will and the want and the determination to make it happen and that in itself is empowering at these tournaments you learn to be independent again you have to get your food on your, by yourself you learn how to travel on your own for me so far i've been able to travel with someone else but a lot of the players they don't have somebody um, because it's expensive to travel so they're pushing they're in their wheelchair pushing their sports wheelchair with the other hand with carrying their luggage either on their lap or on their back and they it doesn't even look like they're struggling. They just make it look effortless because they've learned how to overcome that adversity. Just like you learn how to come, overcome the adversity of playing a sport in a different way. So obviously, you know, playing wheelchair tennis is not my ideal mode of transportation on the court, but it has just taught me to be independent in many ways. It's taught me to be so much more grateful for the things that I can now do, not only tennis, but everything in general and you know when I'm on the course and I don't have a good day I don't get as angry or as upset anymore because I am just happy that I was able to go out that day and I was able to do it so you know if you um, have once been a competitive person or you really want to get back into sports or even if you're just looking for a new way of chan channeling your built up energy you know everybody needs that everybody needs a way of expressing that and I can't speak highly enough of wheelchair sports doesn't have to be tennis there's other wheelchair sports you can get involved in um, but if you do want to get involved in wheelchair tennis and you are um, in Canada specifically but even if you're from anywhere else in the world don't hesitate to touch base with me and I'll answer any questions you may have um, and just know that just because it's a sport doesn't mean that it can't change your life um, when I go to the tournaments I am no longer the minority you know, everybody in a wheelchair becomes the majority and the able-bodied people become the minority. And that in itself is empowering to see how much everybody together can accomplish. It's such an inclusive sport. You can play with able-bodied people. You don't have to play with wheelchair players. So, you know, just give it a try. You have nothing to lose. It's a great way of, you know, channeling your energy, like I said, and just gaining a part of your life back. Not only have I gained a part of my life back, but it has put life back in me. I'm a happier person and I just have, you know, more energy. Even on the bad days, I just have more ability to push through. So try it if you can. Um, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll be more than happy to do my best to answer them in any way I can and hopefully, you know, push you in the right direction. Bye for now, guys.